Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have something pretty awesome to discuss. It's the Skywatcher HAC-125DX, which is a improved and upgraded version of the original Skywatcher HAC-125 that never actually made it here to the US. Skywatcher has recently announced this upgrade for us dedicated astrophotographers, so let's get into it and see what we know so far about the HAC-125DX. So to start this video off, we're gonna talk about some of the HAC-125's impressive specs. It has a five inch diameter with a focal length of 250 millimeters, giving this a focal ratio of F2.0. This scope has the same focal length as the very popular William Optics Red Cat 51, but it has 2.5 times the aperture, which means with a front mounted camera on the HAC, you're gonna get 3.7 times the light gathering power. That means that whatever you can achieve with the Red Cat in about seven and a half hours, you can achieve with the HAC 125DX in about two hours. This speed increase plus the added resolution of the five inch mirror is going to provide some absolutely incredible and jaw dropping photos of deep space. All right, so now let's talk about camera compatibility and field of view. The HAC 125DX is designed around one inch format cameras, so the 533 and the 585. So let's say you were gonna use the 533 with this scope, let's take a look at the different fields of view possible with the HAC. First off, you have Orion. This easily fits into your field of view, as does the Running Man Nebula, and the HAC 125 provides you a decent amount of space around Orion to pick up some of those incredible dusty filaments. Next, we have Messier 31, or the Andromeda Galaxy. If properly positioned, then you can fit the entirety of M31 into your field of view. Larger nebula as well, like the Heart Nebula, will also fit quite nicely. Sitting at just 8.4 pounds and under 16 inches long, this is going to be an awesome, lightweight, and portable solution for astrophotographers. Skywatcher has created this scope to be a great candidate for some of the smallest equatorial mounts and even the possibility of a sky tracker. We will let you know once we put this scope to the test if a sky tracker is a possibility. We plan on using the 533 and the HAC as a full bundle with the Alpera filter on a sky tracker to see how well that those pair. All right, so now let's talk about some of the features that come with the HAC 125DX. First and foremost, it includes a rear primary mirror helical focuser. Now this kind of focuser is something that we don't typically see on most telescope models, but nonetheless, we're excited to try this out and dive a bit deeper into this type of focuser when we get our hands on one. Next, it includes a Vixen style dovetail. It also includes a dew shield, dual finder scope brackets for imaging accessories, an inch and a quarter barrel adapter, and an M42 adapter for your dedicated camera. All right, so that is what we know so far about the HAC-125DX from Skywatcher. It looks like it's going to be an incredible wide field and very fast imaging solution for astrophotographers looking for a portable imaging rig or those who want to upgrade from a smaller refractor or even a camera lens. Like I said, we will be getting our hands on one of these soon and we'll be putting it to the test with the 533, the Alpera filter, and a sky tracker. So make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned so you don't miss that video and other this just dropped videos on upcoming and new products. Thank you so much. I'm Tegan. Clear skies.